Alright, so I've got a Kubota Z725 60-inch zero turn, and I've got to replace the spindle shaft on it. And um, what actually happened was, whenever I was taking the blades off to sharpen them, this is the result. Pretty much stripped the threads on the end of this nut, and there's pretty much no threads left. And whenever I put the blades on it last time I sharpened it, I only put this in a few threads, and then I just... Uh, took my electric impact and locked it in that way so that's probably how it happened I didn't I didn't put it in there far enough but um, to do this type of thing it's, it's really easy I've already actually loosened the nut it's a really easy thing to do and this, this, it's no need to uh, run to the dealer or anything and this should with a little bit of wiggling should just pull out just like that and here's the shaft and there are the stripped out threads I don't know if the GoPro is going to be able to pick them up but there's pretty much no threads left in there luckily my dealer was able to overnight me apart and you've got a uh, washer and a lock washer which this lock washer is almost flat I probably should go ahead and replace it but I'm just going to use some Loctite whenever I put it back and you got your pulley of course and your dust cover and uh, now's a really good time to check the bearings in the spindle itself if you hear any clicking or grinding anything like that you probably should go ahead and replace it so I'm all good there and here is the new shaft which I've already greased you can see brand new threads not to strip out it, it is a little bit different it's got a bigger flange on the end of this than the other one but it's pretty much the same thing so I'm gonna go ahead and stick it up in here now there's a sleeve actually down inside of this hole and you gotta line up put the dust cover back on put the pulley back on make sure the pulley goes on the uh, the right way washer lock washer Go ahead and put some uh, Loctite on the threads. Put the nut back on. And there we go. It's all ready to be uh, bolted back down. Now, I actually, um, to loosen this nut, I actually left the belt on it so so the thing whenever I put the impact on it it just wouldn't spin around freely and um, I'm gonna go ahead and put the belt back on and uh, lock it down with the impact if it does happen to slip then I'll just put the blade on and I'll just uh, wedge a piece of wood between the blade and the mower deck and that'll keep it from turning while I'm uh, locking it back down but yeah it's just thought I would do a really quick video. It's really simple to do. There's no need to go to the dealer for something like this.